progressed to the halfway point of inanimate Alice, I have decided that it might not be so difficult to connect to as I thought. The addition of the games to the storyline have induced me to a further commitment to the story. They have drawn me in and forced me to connect to the person who would create games like this. Hunting for the dolls in Russia makes me slow down in my experiences with Alice. I tend to be a very fast reader, and this is a visual and interactive medium. Speeding through the episodes was detracting from my ability to connect to Alice as a character, rather than just typed words on a screen. It reminds me of those choose-your-own-adventure stories, where the reader selected the ending they desired. They demanded that the reader engage, that the reader choose a direction for the character, which is what the doll search in Russia and the maze in Hometown One have done for me. A book is a volume in the space. Books regarded as autonomous space-time sequences offer an alternative to all existent literary genres, from page three of the carry-on text. This is a book in a different space. More importantly for me as a reader, a book that operates in a different time than one I would usually inhabit to engage with a text. Those classic stories which we grew up with were once passed on vocally rather than written down. Now, rather than being written down, they are becoming involved. Rather, the reader is becoming involved. Imparting knowledge or the plot, we are creating it as participants. It is a bit like reading Shakespeare. It wasn't written to be read. It was written to be heard. But more than heard, it was written to be witnessed. Thou didst betray Polixenes, t'was nothing. That did but show thee of a fool, inconstant and damnable ingrateful. Nor wast much thou wouldst have poisoned good Camillo's honour, to have him kill a king. Poor trespasses more monstrous standing by. Whereof I reckon the casting forth to crows thy baby daughter, to be or none, or little. Nor is directly laid to thee the death of the young prince, whose honourable thoughts, thoughts high for one so tender, cleft the heart that could conceive a gross and foolish sire, blemished his gracious dam. That is not laid to thy answer, no. But the last, my lords, when I have said cry woe, the queen, the queen, the sweet, dearest creature, dead and vengeance for it not dropped down yet. What may be the future of writing is being written to compete with television, which is witnessed, and with the next step, games, which are participated in. 